Library Books Are Not For Eating by Todd Tarplay The day Mrs. Bronte came to school, story time was extra cool. She told great jokes, was never mean, biggest smile you'd ever seen. One small problem, couldn't beat it, once she read a book. She'd eat it. She'd say the end. You'd hear a crunch. Then three or four more books by lunch. Miss Bronte, kids would keep repeating, library books are not for eating. Mrs. Bron Miss Bronte promised with a roar that she'd be eating books no more. But soon, as story time was done, oops, there'd go another one. Ms. McSmartly called her in. Ms. Bronte, where do I begin? You're eating books. That isn't right. You need to curb your appetite. I think you know where this is leading. Library books are not for eating. Miss Bronte promised with a roar that she'd be eating books no more. When Miss McSmartly turned her head, she ate up all her books instead. At lunchtime, when she ate two more, the lunchroom lady stomped the floor. Miss Bronte, you must change your diet. Books taste yucky. Don't deny it. Instead of books, try something new, my cottage cheese and meatball stew. We've got to rearrange your feeding. Library books are not for eating. Miss Bronte promised with a roar that she'd be eating books no more. She took one bite of cottage cheese. then ate three books of recipes. She took a walk to clear her head. Down to the soccer field she fled. Coach Burley blew his whistle loudly, pointing, pointing to his pl players proudly. I've got problems of my own, a soccer field that's overgrown. Can't mow the grass, can't pick the weeds. You're not the only one with needs. Be a winner, no more cheating. Library books are not for eating. Ms. Bronte promised with a roar that she'd be eating books no more. But as Kurt Coach Burley turned his gaze, she ate his book of soccer plays. Miss Bronte packed her bags that day. I'm sorry, but I cannot stay. It's not that I find books so yummy. But nothing else here fills my tummy. If I could find a bulb or seed, a blade of grass, 
a bush, a weed. Suddenly, her plan was clear. She'd make the wild weeds disappear. All she had to do was eat them. Let her appetite defeat them. Now, Mrs. Bronte just eats weeds. They'll fill her dietary needs. The soccer team has gone unbeaten. Not a single book's been eaten. Every morning, right at nine, Ms. Bronte leads the story time. And every afternoon at four, she's on the sidelines keeping score. The soccer field is good as new. Kids run and kick where weeds once grew. The moral of this tale you're reading Library books are not for eating. A happy tale this might have been. But then they hired Mr. Finn. The end.